What is going on, Cigar Club family? Dave here, sitting in Bello Cigars in Miami, Florida, on Calle Ocho, where we are testing and, and smoking the final production of the first ever Cigar Club Customs Ocho. Uh, Ocho is going to be releasing in just a few short weeks here at the end of February, uh, and I can't wait for you guys to experience this. This video, we're just going to talk quickly about what in the world Cigar Club Customs is and how you can be a part of it. And then, of course, we've got to talk a little bit about this beautiful cigar in front of me here, which is Ocho. Look at that pigtail cap. Just a stunner. So I'm going to cut this up, start smoking, and then we'll get into what Customs is all about. So for those of you that don't know, Cigar Club Customs is a project that is near and dear to my heart. And it's one of those projects that was a dream before I ever even worked in the cigar industry. It was years and years of the journals or the notes I'd keep on my phone of what kind of cigar I would make or what tobaccos I would use or where I would make them or what the size would be, what the profile would taste like. Customs is a culmination of years and years of writing all of that down until one day, uh, after being in Nicaragua uh, for a week last year, February, almost this exact time, that dream started to become a reality and we launched the first ever uh, custom cigar, which was Algo Sincero. Uh, and then we launched Ripple Effect and we had such great response from all of you, from all of our Cigar Club family, that we decided to turn it into a subscription. And so now, six times a year, every other month, you're gonna be able, uh, if you're a part of the Cigar Club custom subscription, to try a brand new blend um, that myself and the rest of our team blended alongside of one of the many factories and brands that we work so closely with every single month. This very first one comes uh, from my home state of Florida, just about 30 minutes south of where I grew up on a street called Cayocho, which is H Street here in Miami uh, in Little Havana. Peter Bello and Angelo Bello and, and the family, the Bello family here that runs Cuba Tobacco Company welcomed us in with open arms and said, yeah, we'll make a blend for you. We'd love to. Next thing you know, we were down here spending time with their, with one specific roller who rolls all of the cigars in the traditional Cuban method in Tubo, as well as he's the buncher. He puts the molds together and then applies the wrapper. He does it all just him. He only makes a hundred a day. They gave us access to him for a full day and said, blend. Here's all the tobaccos you have access to. Smoke them, try new things, and uh, let's see what you come up with. By the end of the day, we had gone through six or seven different iterations of blends, smoked some Puritos, even tried some new tobacco, some Piloto Cubano uh, out of the Dominican that I wasn't super familiar with. We got that tobacco and began playing with it uh, paired with this Habano 2000 wrapper, which also is the binder in this, and there's even some Nicaraguan Lajero in here. That Dominican Piloto Cubano came into this blend and softened it a little bit. It brought this oaky kind of woody note to it. And, and really balance it out. So now we're looking at a cigar that isn't just power and strength and, and full body flavor, it's nuanced. You know, it starts off with bread and toast, leather, coffee, moves into some cinnamons and spice, but then it'll crescendo down into a nice oaky kind of woody sweetness that'll last another inch and then bring back some more spice and some more flavor. Found this blend in the size that we blended it in, which is a five and a half by 50 to be the perfect size. And then on top of that, it uh, wouldn't be complete unless we let the roller put his magic touch on it and uh, put a beautiful uh, twisted bung on top, really to show some of the art uh, and the nuance behind what it takes to blend a cigar. You know, every single 60 days, if you will, you guys that are part of our Cigar Club's custom subscription are gonna experience a cigar that took a lot of time and is done by a small amount of people, limited runs of 1,000, 2,000, maybe even 3,000 cigars, and then they're gonna be gone. Uh, but, but we make them because we wanna share these experiences with you all. So Cigar Club Customs, it's something that we're all excited about as a team. And I think once you smoke this first one, Ocho, from right here in Miami on 8th Street, once you smoke this, you're gonna, you're gonna understand what we're all about here. At one, at Cigar Club, but two, with our new project, Customs. Uh, I, I hope you smoke this and you taste the time that it took to make it, and that you enjoy 
hearing the story and reading about it in the booklet that's gonna come with it. And maybe even you find yourself in Miami. If you ever find yourself down here, stop in at Bella Cigars or Cuba Tobacco, and we've got one of these for you always. I had Peter roll a few extra um, of these Ocho. So once we sell them out in the subscription, the only place you can get them is if you come in here and you ask for Ocho, tell them you're part of the Cigar Club family. We'll make that happen. Um, but other than that, the way you get the cigar is just by signing up for the subscription. We're not gonna sell them online in retail or in five packs. Once you have your subscription, you'll be guaranteed a cigar every single drop, every single release. Other than that, I'm sure you guys are around here a little bit. We're gonna check out the rollers finishing up the final 50 cigars that are gonna be the ones that stay here for you all if you're ever down here in Miami. And we'll take a little behind the scenes look. Welcome to Cigar Club Customs, and uh, thanks for being here. I'm Dave with CigarClub.com. Happy smoking.